Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Can you believe there's someone who's with the father of your kid who thinks they found the one? <laughs> Yes, I can totally believe that. Now, if you wanted to make a better argument, you could have said she thinks she found the one, but she didn't because of the following reasons. He's a narcissist. He was controlling. He was keeping me down, being in the way of my happiness and stuff. The majority of people that go into new relationships thinks they found the one. That's kind of the point of going into a new relationship. And also, obviously, you thought you found the one. You didn't just met one night, spread your legs and poof, your kid was born. It must be magic. Some magician tried to make things disappear. You went the other way. The world is a hard enough place already, as if we need to make the internet harder as well. Like, I'm not selling my respect. I'm just doing my job to pay my bills and survive and live in this crazy world. <sighs> like, be, be a little bit nicer, maybe, to people, because you never know what someone's going through. It's so mean. Boo hoo hoo, people are so mean on the internet and they hurt my little fifis. Let me read the comment real quick. What did you think would happen when you sell yourself and respect for $9 a month? Get over it. Selling respect, selling your dignity, same difference. To me, that's not even a mean comment. To me, that's someone holding you accountable. You're putting yourself on the internet. If you only expected applause, sorry, you're in the wrong place. And the way you're putting yourself on the internet is you're promoting your OF account. Sorry you feel the internet internet is a mean place, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. How's this for an example? A simple video about a cute cat. 115 dislikes for that video. People went to watch a video about a cute kitty, and 115 people chose to dislike the video they chose to watch, knowing right from the beginning what they're gonna see in that video. And you're complaining the internet is a mean place because they don't agree with you selling yourself online. Come on now. I literally rebuke the bare minimum. Like, you read your Bible? Good. You should. You pray? You should. Great. Fantastic. You go to church? Amazing. You should go to church. It's weird because men will profess how much they love the Lord, how much they read their Bible, how much they go to church, how much they pray, how much they fast, whatever the case may be. All while simultaneously never asking you on a proper date, never really pursuing you, ghosting you like if you aren't the daughter of a king. And don't even get me started on the fact that it's like they want you to teach them how to be men of God or how to be a man. Like, I'm not your mother. I'm not your father. You need help being a man? Go to Jesus. Like I said, I rebuke the bare minimum. A daughter of a king. Oh, you a princess princess. See, I don't think going for that type of man was the right choice. The ones who go to church, they're not the ones clapping your cheeks behind the dumpster on a dark alley by 7 p.m. Most likely, by that time, they're having dinners at home with their wives, raising a family. You're talking about a whole different type of man. The least you could do is learn your audience. Other than that, what else is new? The bare minimum. Well, don't hold your breath waiting for those men to come and chase you. Dumbest birthday I've ever been a part of. Within every joke someone tells you, there's a little bit of truth of how they really feel about you. And not the hashtag marriage humor. Um, no, that's not funny. If my husband cursed at me like that, I'm leaving. <laughs> Divorce. But let me tell you why. There is a major difference between roasting and poking fun at your partner. And then straight up just, you know trying to ruin a cute little moment that she just wanted you to film. I don't understand why the dude's mind jumped immediately to like trying to be rude to her. Like why couldn't it be like, oh my God, she looks so beautiful. She's so cute that she has this, you know, quirky thing that she wants me to film. But no, instead he decided to curse at her and that's just really weird to me. And of course she's fighting for her life in the comments as always. Remember, normalizing these jokes then turns into them mistreating you every single day for no reason. You'll never get- 
never get what not that I cared all that much but still maybe finish your point before you end the video you didn't stitch the video so I couldn't go and look at the comments what she's fighting in the comments yeah against man haters like you and that's based on what I've seen in your comments she keeps telling people it's sarcasm it's jokes that's how they act in their relationship and to be honest maybe we should learn to respect other people's choices not to mention other people's relationships if your husband ever talked to you like that first of all like what and second of all maybe get a husband first or at least a boyfriend but uh, that right there on the screen that, that's her this is who you ladies are listening to this right here is your idol and let me read this comment real quick this is why I hate sarcasm it's a very thin line between joke and truth that's because you can't comprehend sarcasm and that's fine your mind was not built that way and again the way they are in their relationships it's none of your business Okay, let me read this real quick. Your ancestors didn't struggle for you to wake up one day and repackage misogyny under soft feminine life and fantasize about being financially dependent on a man. Another strong and independent one. Of course, she doesn't need money from men because that will be bad. So what she chose to do instead was trick women into paying her and buy courses. Let's take a look and I'm gonna try to keep it short. I specialize in guidance through tarot and tropical astrology. I align myself with tropical western astrology while... Well, Lucky for me you didn't go into Eastern Astrology, I guess. But list of services. Short tarot reading, 3 cards, $15. Long tarot reading, $45. Love tarot reading, $55. Astrology. One hour Hermes chart, intro to astrology, $100. I can do that too, because since I started doing this, I'm an expert in astrology. Mercury is retrograding, moon is uh, rising, and the sun always sets in the west. That right there is not just intro into astrology, that's advanced astrology so send me $200 but two more two hour integral chart reading starting at $180 and sky's the limit I guess because we were talking about astrology it starts at $180 and it ends when your bank account runs dry and last one transit reading starting at $80 and once again sky's the limit I don't even know what transit reading is and I don't care to look it up to be honest but seriously people should stop paying for this crap your ancestors worked hard for you to earn your money your hard-earned money and spend it on yourself not on some lunatic on tiktok Welcome back to the streets. You can always count on that one friend to keep you single. Misery loves company? Nah, I can't be because the streets are fun. Dating men is so wild. They'll literally tell you, I like you so much, you're this, you're that. They'll be like, let's check out this place together. Let's go on this trip together. And then you'll never hear from them again. Ha <laughs> ha. See, you're having fun. We're here for you. Whatever we can do to help. What you're describing though is not dating. It's just talking. If we were dating, we would have been taking you places. And yeah, sure, sometimes we lie, sometimes we get cold feet, sometimes we get to know you a little better and no, 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 no. Oh no, so you mean I paid $12,000 like 10 years ago for nothing? Oh damn, and that was with a filter as well. Mm -mm. Time for a new one. Mwah -mwah. Wait, what? $12,000 for a nose? What they do? They hire a team to start digging for the most precious metal to build your nose out of it. Hire the team of mercenaries to make sure no one knows where they found that precious metal. When that team of mercenaries came home, they hired a new team to make sure really no one knows where they found that precious metal. And then they build you a new nose. $12,000 for a nose? Forget about putting a down payment for a house, for a new car. Have some savings plan for the future. Nah, who cares about any of that when you can get a new nose? A lot of these guys, like these old men, live in like a fantasy land. They're 30 years old with like a, a little bit of a belly and they look like they're like 40. And they think that when they're 45, they'll be drowning on unlimited <laughs> And that's a fantasy. Like unless you want to go to some third world slum, you know, flex money and stuff to get compliance, but that you're just a customer. 
and so are you princess. In fact, you're more of a customer than me because you run into that circle. Everything and every single girl you're getting, you're paying for it. I give her $50, you're giving her a bag. I didn't want to respond to this, but he's talking about me and he hurt my little feelings. Hopefully, I'm not gonna offend too many of you guys because I know some of you might like the guy. But back to you, princess. You know top G place is already taken. That only leaves you with little G, at best medium G, maybe. The ones like me that we reach 45, we realize there's more to life than just getting unlimited kochi. You're either acting or pretending to be 20 or you're talking to the 20 years old. Us in our 40s, we've been new. You haven't been us yet. This is you right here. A former Townsville soldier turned one a big gangster. I'm also a former soldier who decided to live his life the best way he can and I don't go around doing what you're doing. That's you right here. Bell was accompanied to court by his mother. You took your mom to court. You needed her to hold your hand and now what? You're an alpha. Okay, little G, sure. You made your millions. Good for you. That doesn't make you an expert on life though. Oh man, I made this way too long. Just one more thing and I'll shut up. I'm gonna say to you exactly what I tell the OF girls who are trying to get the men in their 40s to pay for those accounts. Just leave us alone. Who let Gen X off the hook? The millennials, we all did. We did. Um, we had a meeting. Not sure if you missed it. I don't even know if you're you have qualifications to be invited, but but the millennials decided that we're just we're not gonna op we're not gonna open that can of worms. Let me tell you something about Gen X. Both my parents are Gen X. I make this real simple, real easy. No. Because Gen X kids were brought up, I mean, they were the latchkey kids. They were the first real generation of latchkey kid. But, like, they also didn't really have the internet. And if you wanted to hurt someone's feelings, you had to do it to their face. You had to do it to their face, right? Gen X practically invented the saying, I have time. Like, we're going to find out how much time I have. Talk get hit? That's not my generation. That was Gen X. You want to know why? Because they square up. And if you find a Gen X is not physically violent, they don't hurt faces, they hurt feelings. I was raised by a pacifist because I don't hurt faces, I hurt feelings. Just don't, we don't need to wake up Gen X. They're fine, leave them alone. Okay, I know I've talked a lot in this video. I still hope you enjoyed it somehow. I appreciate you all if you made it this far. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.